Howdy folks, welcome to the timeline for my uh, big blue blob into Mare Nostrum run. Uh, we're just going to get this going started, so, as uh, starting to remain already. Um, this was the third attempt to complete, and it was challenging, to say the least, uh, already. We've taken vast parts of Ireland. Um, I mean, this is what, we're not even ten years in. From a big blue blob, you have to do a hundred cord provinces inside Europe within the first 50 years. Um, so we started aggressively going into Ireland and Scotland. And then uh, consolidation over here. More Irish land. <clears throat> Trying to annex the vassals as quickly as possible. That's an important option. Uh, I think I did uh, work to get the Burgundian inheritance, and then boom. That was the first big move. War with Denmark to take land in Norway to give access to the North Russian lands. And you can see also Burgundy's been inherited already. Not even 20 years in. Really good luck with the RNG there. <clears throat> so France now looking a lot better. Continuing here with the annexations, and boom, big French Russia now. Very important, again. Um, my other efforts, I tried, like, Nosy being Circassia, and using that as a way to get in. And that worked to an extent. Um, Novgorod completely gone here. Taking more land from Ireland. Consolidating here. Have all of... Um, the lowlands up here and uh, this would be Provence unfortunately Papal State was causing issues still got several vassals over there as well and it has to be full cores so it can't be your vassals land um, vassals slowly disappearing all of Scotland almost gone. French Britain looking very powerful. But not a lot of growth at the moment. Not a lot of growth. Consolidation, I guess, at least. Uh, I don't know why that says England, because that is all France. Did I do something weird and, like, move their capital? No. I don't know why it's being weird. Muscovy getting big, which is bad. There we go. Took a little bit of land off England there. Push them out of uh, Northumberland. But, I mean, normally you'd want to... Oh, that's right, I was giving land to Turconnell. To let them do some of the quarrying for me. Um, no more wars here, though. I need to take some land over here. For sure. Um, more land over here would be good. I don't know if we're going to get more land over here, though. Because the problem is, oh, there we go. Now this looks weird, but that was a direct route down to Moscow to stop them from being able to form Russia. Um, and yeah, Traconnell, using them to use the admin and then absorbing that way. Okay, I was just checking to see if you could see what was happening here with Genoa. I don't know. It's. I don't think they were vassalized. That could have been an option. I guess we'll see what happens there. I don't remember anymore. Because this has been a long campaign. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, Turconnell has been absorbed. Uh, Denmark has absorbed uh, what was left of Norway. All of the French vassals are gone here. Um, and by this point, the goal has been achieved. The initial goal. So now it's a case of building towards the next goal, which is... The, the next long-term goal, which is Mare Nostrum. We can speed up a little bit here. As we see, uh, this is a French-owned Byzantium. Bosnia. 
don't think that was mine. Uh, a lot more here in Russia. I'm trying to take advantage of the mission tree to get whatever PUs and vassalizations we could. Um, deeply regret taking the Commonwealth when they were so large. Should have broken them down into a manageable chunk and then taken them that way. Um, land coming here in Iberia now. Uh, we actually lost land here to Muscovy. And then we got it right back. That must have been rebels, I think. Austria just... That was insane. I think that is um, absorbing Hungary and Bohemia all at once. Maybe more. So right now, I mean, look at this. You have strong Timmies, very strong Spain, strong Austria, strong Commonwealth. Uh, Spain has formed by uh, um, the uh, Iberian Wedding. Very strong Kazan throughout. Sweden, Denmark, going hammers and tongs the whole time. Right. I forgot about that. I lost a war with Austria and ended up losing a whole bunch of Byzantium land here. I don't remember how I got into that war and why it went so badly. But it was a terrible war. We are able to recover, but still. Um, ultimately, we did get Spain and Portugal under a PU, which was incredibly helpful for dealing with the New World. You can see these are all colored incorrectly because they ultimately ended up as Roman colonies. So at this point, they are populating the wrong color. Um, not a whole lot of uh, colonization by France so far into uh... oh there we go a little bit trying to get across into uh, this side here Ottomans just took a huge chunk and the Commonwealth Croatia, now Croatia was mine I know that, and gave them land on both sides of the uh, Adriatic Gulf of Venice, yeah Adriatic uh, Byzantium is back. Um, Hungary exists. Commonwealth. Croatia. Uh, Thiele just took a huge bite out of Austria. I can only assume that at this point there is no more HRE because look at this blobbing. Huge Palatinate, big Saxony, big cleaves of all places. And tiny Austria. And ooh, Saxony just got absorbed. I think that was a PU. And then, oh my goodness, look at that rampage. Look at that rampaging. France just took so much land there. So much land. Big French-Italian boot here. Then it's still strong. Now there's land coming in on the far side of uh, into Anatolia. Look at these Timurids, though. Very strong Timmies. Well, there are some French colonies over here. That's weird. I think maybe it's because I started this one, so it's it's currently blue. All the ones I didn't start? No, because... Oh, that's going to turn into Canada, I think. Uh, London has fallen. And now there's there's a, a sort of a cycling that happens here as vassals get released and absorbed. Um, I have to keep fighting against the Ottomans over and over again. Big war against the Mamluks to open up a channel down here. And you can see now there's... This is a Spanish colony. Um... French land along the west coast of Africa now. And yes, over here as well. Some French territory. And the New World is constant back and forth. The um, the natives are so strong in the current patch, it's very hard to deal with them. Um, so just when you, like, Mexique went through so much growth, like expansion and contraction, as uh, Kado and Oweyunji and Yaki kept just taking bites out and I'd have to go back and, and reclaim. Very frustrating. Um, Spain just expanding their land here. Looking good. Big war against Venice here that just cleaned up these borders nicely. Left Venice stuck inland. And Siena, for that matter. 
and he's still strong. Uh, Kazan and the Ottomans were friends for a long time. It was constantly, if you fought one, you had to fight both. Very frustrating. I had a little Tripoli here for a while. Bulgaria has now been released. As well as... Oh no, nobody else yet. Let's speed up a little here, into the 1700s. More consolidation. The French name looking nice and big. Ooh! That's right! The Mamluks were vassalized and used to reconquest and then uh, integrated. French Russia a little bit bigger. And then boom! Another big war. Big Serbia. Big Bulgaria. And then immediately integrated. And integrated. French name even bigger. Um, we have French land here as well now. And we do have, uh, over here, a very large French India and Indochina um, as part of the mission tree, trying to keep that all uh, above board and kosher, as it were. Timmy's. Large Timmy's. Moogles form. Moogles had an amazing game. Uh, Ching growing over here in the uh, in the east. And time's nearly over here. Boom! That was a big war there. That was the integration of Spain. That's what happened there. It wasn't a war. Um, and look at me, Whisker. This is what I mean. And Zhu and Quiche. Like what? What is happening there? It's so crazy. That is an independent Canada. Caddo Federation who changed color like seven times. A little bit of consolidation down here, mostly through um, uh, colonization. We have a wild Zulu here. Most of the focus is here, obviously. Uh, main powers here look left. Liège, Platinet, and Stettin. Uh, England is nearly gone. That was a big bite out of the Ottomans there. We have uh, Syrian land, Georgian land. Even more French Russia. Huge, huge bite there out of Kazan. And then the integration of Syria and Georgia. Means that finally we have France. All connected here, no more French Russia. All connected. Um, all, so this is now land from... Uh, this is revolutionary Iceland. Hello. And Revolutionary Platinum, although they're not revolutionary yet, in fairness. But they will be. Um, yeah, the, the expansion there to link up the name. I mean, how good does that name look? Look, that's about the same size font as Ching. And then we're getting into the uh, mid to late 1700s. More more expansion here in the uh, uh, what would we call that? Uh, Red Sea, I guess that is. Uh, Kazan just completely wiped off the face of the earth. Gone. No more Kazan. The English were just absorbed completely along with their colonies. More expansion here. These ended up all being like my tributaries because I ate Kazan in one war. So that was possibly a mistake. Um, I think these guys might be revolutionary now. It's not showing that. The edge took a huge bite out of... Um, is that really a wall gust there? I don't remember that being a thing. Ottomans now almost completely absorbed. Um... But yeah, Liège just did a massive number there. They were a, a world power for a long time. And there is the Roman Empire formed. And uh, it was formed with the borders already in place to complete Mara Nostrum. Which has been a long-term goal for me. And, I mean, you can see, just looking at that. Ah! No. Oh. Okay. 
we're going to go back in real quick. Uh, so we'll speed run here. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see the way that the, the French Empire grows. You want to hit those buttons. Good to know. Um, the, the three attempts at Big Blue Blob was frustrating. I will say that. Because I got real close a couple of times. But then, third time, much better route. Ireland, Britain, into Norway, down through Russia. And that also prevents Russia from forming, which is a, a solid plan. And then um, the end of the 1700s into the 1800s uh, was just cleaning up the European borders, basically. Uh, we also made sure that all of the Americas were ours. So there goes a large chunk of the Palatinate. Revolutionary Roman Empire. Because we did take, we did allow the revolution to, to spawn eventually. Uh, I didn't realize how the revolution actually should go. There we go. Last bit of Palatinate there. Um, so that was, that was annoying because I probably could have done the, um, better than Napoleon. No, not better than Napoleon. The revolutionary idea thing with, with France, the achievement. So I, I missed out on one by just not being knowledgeable enough. Uh, we did take a large chunk of clay here just to link up um, the African parts to the European parts. Uh, a final war in Europe to push Liège just to a couple of provinces here. Revolutionary Iceland fell. Um, there was a little bit of expansion here, but not much. And that's it. We have a look at the achievements. Um, it's the first time I've actually finally managed to see all of the uh, provinces. A little embarrassing, but here we are. Uh, bearing in mind, I'm at how many hours? Uh, 1600 hours. Um, so I mean, you can see a lot of a lot of achievements were uh, achieved, including the, the, the ones that were most important to me, which is Big Blue Blob, Better Than Napoleon, and Myron Ostrom. Um, the other ones were somewhat opportunistic, honestly. Uh, I think this is only the third or fourth time I've played through to 1821. I did it with uh, Spain, that was like my first uh, successful run, because I tried a couple of, of games before that, and then Spain, uh, you know, I made a mistake of going for smaller nations when I went to the bigger nation of Spain, well, Castile, into Spain. Um, I had a very good run all the way through to 1821, I think the only, maybe the only other time I've done it was with Wales. Funnily enough. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciated the support on the uh, on this series. And I'll see you in the next one. Um, I don't know when the next E4 campaign will be. Probably I'm going to wait until the next... Uh, we've got 1.34 coming out soon. It'll probably be with that factored in. Um, maybe Norway. The, the stuff in Norway sounds really interesting. So it could be a Norwegian run. And I know there's at least one achievement we can get that way. Maybe more. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.